Heads. Today I stand before you as an Israeli trade union leader representing the Histadrut, the General Federation of Labor in Israel. As we convene at the ILO 111th International Labor Conference, it is essential to recognize the pivotal role played by the Histadrut in stabilizing Israeli society and uplifting workers through collective bargaining and the general strike as a last resort. The Histadrut stands as an unwavering pillar of strength, fortifying the foundations of our society. Throughout our history, we have tirelessly advocated for the rights and welfare of workers, nurturing a culture of dialogue, cooperation, and collective bargaining. Our indomitable spirit has become a driving force behind Israel's progress and the well-being of our people. Israel, a nation built on the resilience of its citizens, is bound together by a shared vision of unity. The Histadrut has played a central role in fostering this unity, safeguarding the rights and dignity of workers and ensuring their voices are heard. It stands as a testament to the power of the union, of solidarity and the belief that nation strength lies in the welfare of its workforce. Negotiations and collective bargaining stand as a cornerstone of Histadrut's work, empowering workers to negotiate fair wages, safe working conditions, and social protections. Through this process, the Histadrut has facilitated harmonious relationships between workers, employers, and the government, paving the way for more equitable society. Yet, there are times when the scales of justice are imbalanced and negotiations falter in the face of adversity, or when the powers of government are abused against the people of Israel. In such moments, like in the past six months, the Histadrut has mustered the courage to take decisive action and, and resorted to a general strike as the last resort. The general strike is not an act of rebellion. It is a powerful symbol of workers' determination to fight for their rights. When all avenues of negotiations have, exhaust, have been exhausted, the general strike becomes a beacon of hope, a call to action that reverberates across the nation. It serves as a wake-up call to those in power, demanding justice and respect for workers. It is a rallying cry uniting workers and society in the pursuit of fairness, equality, and decency. The general strike is not undertaken lightly, but rather with the understanding that it is a tool for positive change. It disrupts the status quo, forcing stakeholders to confront the pressing societal issues at hand. On the 27th of March this year, following extreme civil unrest due to the government's proposed legislation, we conducted a general strike. Our strike halted the judicial reform and created an opportunity for negotiations, dialogue, compromise, and hopefully a more just, prosperous future for all, bringing the unity our country desperately needs. Delegates, today I extend an invitation to all nations, trade unions, and employers to recognize the central role of trade unions in stabilizing society and uplifting workers. Let us embrace collective bargaining as the cornerstone of fair labor relations, empowering workers to shape their own destinies. Let us foster a culture of dialogue and cooperation where workers are valued as indispensable contributors to our societies. In those rare moments when justice is denied, let us remember the power of the general strike. It's a tool that can reshape the narrative, ignite conversations, and propel positive change. It serves as a testament to the unwavering resolve of workers united in their pursuit for justice and dignity. Delegates, together we can build a world where workers' rights are not negotiable but inviolable. Where collective bargaining is not a luxury but a fundamental right, let us harness the power of solidarity and dialogue to forge a future where workers and society thrive hand in hand. Thank you. Thank you so much.